Welcome to the next video in the search for better health topic. This video is going to be looking at the secondary source investigation.9.4.4a, point 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 four gather, process and present information from secondary sources to show how a named disease results from an imbalance of microflora in humans. So what, before we get into looking at a disease caused by microflora, it might be an idea if we have an idea of what microflora is. So microbes that live in or on our body, including bacteria, fungi, and algae, whether they're good or bad, are known as microflora. So we just think back, micro being small flora, flowers, but it's a little bit different to the flora that we're used to seeing around when we think of flora and fauna. So disease only occurs when there is an imbalance of this microflora. So just like any other situation, the pathogens overtake the good bacteria. Diet, nutrition, age and antibiotics are a few things that can change our internal microflora and can therefore lead to diseases caused by an imbalance of this microflora. So some good bacteria, you may have heard of these on commercials, uh, in particular for your cult or for that Inner Health Plus, um, those Inner Health Plus tablets. So things like Acidophilus, Lactobacillus and Bifidobacteria are all good bacteria that we want in and on our body. Um, but however, if they do get out of control, then they can cause problems. So one particular disease that is caused by an imbalance of microflora is a disease called thrush. So thrush is caused by a particular pathogen, which is a fungus known as Candida albicans. And yes, you do need to know the specific name of a pathogen that causes a disease um, from an imbalance of microflora. So this one probably is the easiest uh, to get to learn. So just make sure that you um, really commit that name to memory. So thrush can occur in the genital area, in the mouth, on the fingers, toes, nails and bronchi. So obviously the most common one that we hear of quite often, I guess with um, ads on TV and things, is obviously genital thrush. So we um, symptoms of this include vaginal itch, um, discharge, stinging or burning while urinating, redness, swelling and discomfort in the area. So the way that thrush is diagnosed is by um, taking a swab. So what the doctor will do is they'll use basically like a cotton, um, a cotton bud, take a swab of the area and then send that to the lab. And what they'll do is they'll stain it and they'll have a look at it under a microscope and determine what pathogen is causing the disease, which therefore leads to them determining the disease it's caused. So there's a number of different things that can cause an imbalance of candida albicans, which can lead to thrush. That includes um, the use of the oral contraceptive, uh, whether you have diabetes, if you're pregnant. So obviously pregnancy changes the hormones and things in your body, which can lead to imbalances of quite a few things. Immune system disorders or being generally unwell, some antibiotics and a change of pH. So um, when you're using different chemicals and things to clean yourself. So the treatment is quite simple. Um, the most common thing is antifungal creams or suppositories, which can obviously be purchased over the counter at a pharmacy, or you can use natural yogurt. Um, obviously, using an antifungal cream or suppository comes with the correct instructions on how to do that. Whereas if you, you know, a little bit uh, against using chemicals and things, natural yogurt is an alternative. Uh, prevention of um, or stopping yourself from getting crushed can be making sure that you're um, washing yourself well and drying. So we go back to the idea of um, not giving the microbes a moist environment to grow in. Okay. Also, obviously, the avoidance of some antibiotics, depending on the disease that you're having the antibiotics for, this may be um, a catch-22. So some people need antibiotics in order to overcome a particular illness, but the problem is then that um, side effect is that they get thrush. Uh, so there's a couple of other diseases that can be caused by an imbalance of microflora. Okay, so this first one at the top here is um, a sore throat. I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these um, these names. As I said, Candida albicans is fairly easy to say, fairly easy to spell. If When we have a look at these other ones, you understand why I say that. Plaque, so the plaque on our teeth is caused by an imbalance of the microflora that lives in our mouth. So by brushing well, using a mouthwash, etc., 
you're keeping um, that microflora in check. Uh, Escherichia coli or E. coli can cause urethritis, which is the swelling of the urethra, so that tube that runs from the bladder to the outside of your body. Whooping cough um, and gingivitis. So gingivitis is that really bad swelling of the, the gums. And that brings us to the end of this video, so thank you for watching.